if you want to make your own DIY tufting frame at home, then this video is for you. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And so this video specifically, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this tufting frame. I know that there's like tufting frames that are online that you can get custom made that people make them for you and I've seen numbers as high as like 150 to 200 it's blocks of wood that you get from Home Depot and you put them together with screws okay so let's get right into it alrighty so I'm starting off with four planks of wood two are 36 inches one 52 inch piece and the last is 60 inches these are from Home Depot, they're relatively inexpensive. They come in one piece that measures 96 inches long and you'll need to ask the workers to cut it for you. Um, you'll also need heavy duty screws. These are three inches long and I personally don't recommend on anything shorter. And then obviously you'll need a drill. First step, place one of the 36 inch pieces under the 52 inch piece creating a 90 degree angle. We actually created holes in the 52 inch piece first so that the screws can go in smoother. That is not a mandatory step, but it definitely made life easier for us. And then once everything is screwed in, just grab the other 36 inch piece and do the same thing on the other side. Now the only other piece left is the longer one which is 60 inches. You place that on the bottom and make sure that there's about 4 inches hanging over on both sides. Now we're going to do the same thing again and that is drill some holes. Kind of like making space for the screws so that they can twist in easier. And then this is kind of a mandatory step. Depending on your screws though, we took a big drill bit and created sort of like a crater in the surface of the wood. The reason for that is because the screws that we got will not drill in entirely where the head is hidden. And just because of the shape and the way that they're made and we need the head to be hidden because if not, it will prevent the frame from standing normally and flat on any surface. So if you have those same kind of screws, you kind of need to do that. Now on to the tack strips. These can be found in Home Depot as well. They're also pretty cheap. I think maybe a few dollars per pack. Each pack comes with four pieces and if making the same size frame as me, you will need two packs. And these are extremely sharp, so be careful while working with them. You need this to be able to stretch the tufting fabric onto the frame. Now, the positioning of these when placing onto the frame is crucial you need to make sure that the words are facing towards the center or the inside of the frame and that the sharp claw-like nails are facing outward towards the outside of the frame. Very, very important because otherwise stretching the fabric, just it's just not gonna work. You will probably come across pieces that are either a bit too long or maybe not long enough. And if it's too long, for example, you can get a handheld saw and cut it off. These pieces don't require a lot of power to cut them. It's actually kind of easy. So just mark where you need them to end and watch your hands and fingers. <laughs> now these strips already come with nails so that you can just nail it to the wooden frame right then and there. The last thing to do is make hooks where the yarn will go through on the top. I took four of these free paint mixers from Home Depot, glued them all together to get a nice width. I also bought a pack of two hooks that can be screwed in. It was actually done by hand and it was easy enough that we didn't need to make any holes first with the drill. It just went right in. Um, I put one screw on the edge of the stick and then the second about four or five inches away from the first hook. Now the last step is to screw in that additional stick on top of the frame, making sure that the hooks are hanging off. Mm -hmm. 
When securing your frame onto a surface, probably a table like me, you will need clamps that are able to open up at least two inches plus the thickness of your table. So I would say maybe at least four inches, but I will link everything in the description below. And the great part is, is that at least for me, it was a one shop stop. And this took maybe an hour for us to make and we don't have much experience in building stuff. All right, guys, well, that is that. I do have to mention that the size of the tufting frame that I did is based on the tufting fabric that I was already looking into getting. So therefore, I kind of knew what the dimensions of the frame that I wanted to have. My frame turned out to be 49 by 36 inches. I'm gonna put the links down below of the fabric that I got and what size and what length. But yeah, anyways, enough about that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you found it somewhat helpful. Yeah, so stay tuned to my next video. All right, toodles, bye. <laughs>